Hello, hello, hello. Christy here from version of you 2.0. I just thought I'd pop in. It's just after 12 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, so hopefully I'll catch some of you uh, enjoying some lunch. Um, I have been in a business mastery program with Tony Robbins for the past three days. I'm on day four and tomorrow will be day five. And yesterday I learned from a man named Keith Cunningham. And I don't know if you know much of my story, but I have a learning disability. I've had it all my life. It really came out when I was really little. Um, you know, I went to French school at the very beginning, um, but my parents spoke English at home. And it wasn't really until grade one and grade two when I was actually doing like hours of homework. Who does hours of homework in grade one and grade two? Anyway, I was doing hours of homework and the initial assumption was just that I wasn't paying much attention or I was being lazy. And, you know, um, my parents, you know, realized that that wasn't the case and that there was something more, that there was a gap in my understanding. So, of course, I got tested and ended up transferring to an English school by grade four um, and really struggled with academics essentially all my life to the point where... I even uh, would go after class uh, to learn um, from my teachers. It would be math, it would be physics, and it would be biology and chemistry, actually. I had to go to summer school for chemistry and physics, reach ahead, and then I had to take it over again the next year in school just to try and get a decent grade. But I spent a lot of time going back to spend time with the teachers after school and in uh, summer school in order to pull my grades up because I just wasn't understanding the way that the information was being taught to me. I tell you this, and I tell you this because for me, I joke around now that, you know, I was just really good in gym class um, to suggest that therefore I wasn't good in any of the other subjects. And I really had to learn to overcome that disability. And for the most part, I have. But yesterday, and in being a CEO of my own business, yesterday learning from Keith Cunningham, which was all about finances, all about accounting, you know, all about budgeting. And, you know, I've had to run like millions of dollar budgets before, but not for my own business. This is an entirely, entirely different area of expertise that I'm having to tap into that I'm new, you know, I'm an infant in this, in this, at this caliber. Anyway, he taught me in 30 minutes what probably would have taken years. And I can't tell you how grateful I am because it, it gives me the power to be able to make decisions now that I better understand the situation that I'm in. And the reason I'm explaining this to you is because I want you to feel the exact same way with your health. So many of us walk around confused and, you know, we try so many different things that we ultimately give up. You know, we just kind of hide and we ignore and we avoid. And it's because we're so tired of being disappointed with ourselves. And that doesn't have to be the case, you know, with clarity comes conviction. And although I don't have all of my hows in place as to how I'm going to do everything, I understand the process so much better. So I know that I can reach out for help. I'm resourceful enough to reach out for help whenever I need it. And I want you to know that you are resourceful enough to reach out for help, help when you need it. And I want you to turn to, you know, all of the ways in which I can support you through this Facebook group, through all of the members in this Facebook group, through some of my other Facebook um, groups or other social media platforms to turn to find information there if you need it. And if I'm not giving you the value that you're looking for, tell me because the only reason why I'm here is to try and serve you with the information that you are looking for. So please be present and engage with me so I can I can help you out as much as possible. Anyway, I just wanted to jump in, but I do have to go back. Okay, here's the showing up for you. Have yourself a fantastic, fantastic, fantastic rest of your day. Enjoy your weekend. Bye.